Hey, good morning. Day five. And it's been drizzling and raining all night. On and off. Predicted to be raining today. Predicted to have cloud everywhere. But I don't know. Looks like I might be able to sneak a glide off the peak here. Alright. Valley's clear of cloud. We're going up. Although the wind's rolling over here. Yeah, it's just pushing the mist over. I think there's a chance. Yeah. On the peak, things look worse. Fast flowing mist from France whispers through the trees. But up above, the Spanish air mass is whipping over. The valley is narrow and choked with trees. One, two, one. It's a special test of endurance, navigating whilst flying in turbulence after hiking so far every day. I've ascended the equivalent of Mount Everest by now and covered almost 200 kilometers on foot. It would be nice to have solid lift up to some cumulus clouds, but out here in the flats, the air is hard. The thermals are shredded by the increasing wind and they are grumpy and ineffective. Somewhat like me. Perfect base wind, perfect line down track. Another 15 k's groundwork to a campsite finishes off the day. A bit disappointed to say the least. All that groundwork to find a flying site and set it up nicely, nice thermal, nice climb out. 
just couldn't survive over the flats. Didn't work hard enough for it, didn't fight for it. <laughs> Mara had that as an opportunity to come out and forward to Kastahorn. Remy's taken Kastahorn and that's given him the jump on the other guys. He's got up and away and thermaled up and he's making hay while the sun shines. That's given him a pretty good jump into the lead. Watch my instructional series that reveals technical insights from every day of the race. Understand the challenges and see the best moves demonstrated on flywithgreg.com.